now before school is let out for the summer, but that also means many kids will go without much needed services. Local News 8's Bree Clark tells us how the YMCA is stepping in to fill in the gaps. There's a gap in learning, a gap in health, a gap in hunger, a gap in water safety and safe places. These are just some of the areas that kids miss out on during the summer months, but they are still the most important areas because schools are no longer responsible for children in need. So services like free and reduced lunch come to an end. For a lot of kids, that is their source of nutrition and food. And so the school doors close and those kids suddenly don't have a place to go. Food and nutrition is the first part of the organization's Hop the Gap program, where any kid 18 and younger can get free breakfast, lunch, and snacks. But these meals are just the first steps. We have a week of dinosaurs, we have a week of colors, where kids will be doing art and playing outside, and we always have access to books. We have great folks who donate books to us, and so kids can come and take a book, read a book, bring it back. On average, students lose a month of grade level equivalency in most major subjects. This is where the YMCA says summer programs can help. Just having different things to think about and to learn about, dinosaurs, all those kinds of things, really is important to keep the kids' minds working throughout the summer. But the bottom line is serving the community, so with a hop, a skip, and a wobble, kids in our area are given the opportunity to live a healthy summer. In Idaho Falls, I'm Bree Clark. This year, the YMCA will be really big on water safety. A few times a week, the organization takes kids to community pools to teach them about lifeguards, pool rules, as well as canal safety for the upcoming irrigation season.